clear last week, so just been trying to get everything back together. When you look at the guys that this team lost, how do you see yourself, you know, extending your role on this team? Um, obviously, yeah, well, as you said, we lost a lot of players last year, a lot of seniors, Luka, Weezy, Jack Nunji. So just taking a bigger role on the team as a leader, you got to talk more, you're going to have a bigger impact on the game this year, and I just got to be ready, and I'm going to work on the offseason to fulfill that role. How do you deal with like, the team's expectations where last year you guys were being talked about nationally or top five, you're mm -hmm. 10 almost consistently. Coming into this year now, certainly not as much hype um, on a national scale. Mm -hmm. How do you guys go about trying to, to prove that this team is still to be reckoned with? Um, in the just coming in the gym, working hard every day, kind of like blocking all that out and just coming in the gym, just staying together as a team and just going out there and playing the best that we can and just playing as a team and just having fun out there and trying to win. As far as your focus this offseason, what are some things that you've kind of been working on to, to improve your game? Um, pretty much my shot being more consistent. Um, as I said before, t talking more on the court, being more of a leader, vocally on the court and off the court. And I just got back from my surgery, so I was just clear last week. So just pretty much getting back into flow of things. When Jordan decided to come back, did you two have any discussions about that? Because I know at one point he said he wasn't going to come back because he didn't want to take spots from you or, or Joe, just in terms of minutes. Did he have any conversations with you? Um, yeah, I had a conversation with him and McCaffrey. Everything was cool. We talked about it obviously it's, it's actually good for him to come back some people look at it as a bad thing but it's good he's a leader he's older he's been around so he knows a lot and he's a great shooter so I'm looking forward to playing with him what are, you, what are your biggest takeaways when you look at yourself on tape from from last year um was it basically what you kind of thought it was going to be and just how are you kind of adjusting to that um, this yes, year? Yes, a couple games last year. I didn't do the best that I wanted to do, but just looking at it as a good thing, as a learning process. I was young last year. I had a lot of older players. I learned a lot, seeing a lot on the court, on a big stage. I got in at the end of the game in the Oregon game, just using that as just like a learning experience. Obviously, there's going to be more opportunity at the guard spot this year for some guys to step up. So where do you see yourself um, in the mix with the guards, and what do you think you can contribute on the court? I'm um, just being a big impact on the court, going out there, being a vocal leader, just leading my team, just every, coming out every day, working hard as a team, being a big impact on the court, and just going out there and just being the best I can be.